Kevin and I are currently stranded in the middle of the Utah desert because I broke the world's fastest adventure bike, my 2008 Hayabusa. This video did not go to as I had it planned out. It's gonna make for an interesting video for you guys. I just hope Kevin and I can make it out. <laughs> This pack is so cool. Really cool. We're gonna have to show you guys his cabin set up here in a second. Right. We've got two ends of the spectrum. Not so adventure bike with all the adventure bike stuff. Mm -hmm. And then Kev's got the top of the line bike, but you'll see his setup. It's questionable. Will Kevin's setup make the 100 miles we have to do? I think it for will. Sure. You think you're gonna run out I of gas? No. <laughs> I might be selling gas for about $25 a gallon when we get out there. I got five gallons in here. Rip, what do you think about that? Rip's worn out. Look at him. Let's oh, wait a minute. Tools. We're good. Okay. We're good. We're, we don't need tools. Perfect. <laughs> it's go time. Kev and I left the boat ramp and headed to the trailhead. We had about 15 or 20 miles before our adventure even started. with another wild adventure today. Kevin and I, we're in the Utah backcountry. We really don't know where we are, but we're supposed to be doing over 100 miles. We're gonna do an overnighter today. We built the world's fastest adventure bike out of the Hayabusa, 200 horsepower, Moscow Moto's new Reckless 80 bags on there. So this thing is full on adventure. Insane, we're going through a national park. We've never been here. We have no idea what to expect. We'll show you guys just Kev's setup and then we gotta get going. We gotta try to make it to camp before dark. How do you like that? All right, here's Kevin, everyone. Take the mic. <laughs> I'm running the $39 Costco Patagonia model backpack. <laughs> but there's only 25, 30 pounds in here. The wind's coming up. It's going over my It's like head. a windshield. Oh, dude, it's so sweet. It's functional, though. Ozark Trail, Costco brand. No, yeah, Walmart. Walmart brand. Packed full of food with toiletries, baby wipes, all the good stuff. I'll be selling tomorrow morning <laughs> to me <laughs> for maximum dollars. Why aren't you wearing any pants? <laughs> <laughs> Invisible man. Kind of just speechless here. I mean, my God. <laughs> what do you think of that? Don't look down. Whoa. This ride just keeps getting more epic. Hmm. Hey. Wow. Cool. I've never really seen anything like that in my life. Whoa, dude, that's huge. All right, let's keep going. Roll. This thing's so heavy. Huh. Oh my gosh. You want help? <sighs> Why does it keep going over like that? <laughs> I'm losing my balance. Don't go that way with it. <laughs> It'd be like, <laughs> It'd be like, <sighs> what do you think of this? This is where Bigfoot exists. Right? The Red Rock version of Bigfoot. Yeah. Which would be who? Red, red, Redfoot. Coco Pelli. <laughs> Coco Pelli, who's that? Is that actually a creature? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Coco Pelli. Oh man. We're making pretty good progress. What is it, probably 3 p.m. now? Probably. Something like that. We're gonna ride for another hour, then get to camp. Mm -hmm. Oh, this the views are absolutely incredible. 
Unreal. Insane. Don't go off the side. Whoa! Keep the noise down. <laughs> We just stopped at this amazing lookout, saw some bighorn sheep over there, kind of creeped on them for a bit. And now we're trying to figure out where we need to camp and where we're at in the map because the sun is starting to go down. It's four o'clock. So we're kind of, we're looking on the map, trying to figure out where we even are on the map. There should be a camp spot coming up here pretty soon. So hopefully we're where we think we are on the map. It's not the one we are intended on going to, but we're over 20 miles from that one. So at least 20 miles. So we're definitely not gonna camp there. We made it to camp. Let's do a little camp tour and maybe look at Kevin's wet sleeping bag. <laughs> All right, Kev, what do we got going on here? We noticed a couple miles ago, well, your back was getting wet. My back was getting wet and my backpack is completely soaked. Oh. My water bladder must be oh. not pretty. Oh. It looks okay, pretty okay. I think it's, yeah. Just a little bit, but I mean, my pillow. Oh, check out the pillow. Oh, what's leaking? <gasps> Is that what's leaking? Oh, it's your mouthpiece. It can't be. That's close. Oh, is it leaking out the top? Uh, I mean, it's not that much. What was leaking in here? Oh, oh there it is. There it is. You brought a gallon jug of water? Right. <laughs> oh no. No, that's not leaking. Yeah, it is. It's squirting onto you. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Looks like I'll pee be peeing into that hole tonight. <laughs> that's what I brought it for. That's all the more water that came out. Too bad we don't have any flex tape. This is T-Rex tape. Oh, Trex tape. Trex tape. Dang. I don't even know if it's mandatory. Well, I just like holding it. <laughs> okay. It's like we're geeking out on equipment here. Aren't we? We're, now we're tech nerds. To nerds? People were commenting, hey, you need to get better cameras. We got better cameras and we have a microphone. Maybe it doesn't even work. Who knows? It's just a prop. Okay, so we're in camp. Sun's going down. We've probably got 30, 45 minutes of light left. So it's time to set up camp. I want to give you guys a little tour of these Moscow Moto the new version four 80 liter pack. In this right bag, we got some very important stuff in here. Pull it out. Oh, I packed a lot of stuff for Kevin. Got a lot of Kevin goodies in here. So we got more water, toilet paper. Ooh, blow up pillow, courtesy of my girlfriend. I don't think she knows I have this, but I do. Ooh, these are really cool. Check these things out. Kevin might be a little jealous of these. Whoa. Right? Exhibition slippers? Right? Puffy slippers. Puff slips. How cool is that? That's I, super hairbag, but that's all right. What are you talking about? My feet are going to be cozy tonight. Kevin brought slippers. You've got no room to talk. You literally bought slippers this morning. We got tent steaks, jet boil, Kevin's tent. That's teeny. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, this is my backpacking tent, but Kevin is going to be sleeping in here tonight. Dude, if you pull the Taj Mahal out of there, then you'll be sleeping in there tonight. No, no, no. This is your tent. You've got a way better setup than I do tonight. So this is your tent. And you're setting it up, right? Yeah, I'll set it up for you. Sweet. While I, what, relax? One, yeah, you can just chillax. Super stressful Maybe you day. can cook food. Mmm. Boil water? Yeah, you can boil water, cook food. This is my summer sleeping bag. Here's my blow up mattress that I'm gonna be sleeping on. These are pretty sweet. They're insulated. They have down in them. Kev, I've got you one of those too. 
but it's even bigger than mine. Oh yeah, there it's we go. It's a double wide. Okay. That's in the other side. Okay. Okay. Now, get over there. now we're breaking into the left side pocket. This is the one that's big time. I really had to stuff this left side. You sure this microphone thing's a good idea? I think this microphone idea is a good idea. You I've already crashed this bike twice today, and I haven't ripped up the Moscow Moto bags, so those things are pretty tough. Dang, my sleeping bag got wet. Uh, it's not very wet. It's just a little damp on the top. This is Kevin's Taj Mahal blow up mattress. See how big that thing is? Yeah, that's a big, that barely fits in my tent. Then we've got. That's not a mountain house though. It's a peak. The mountain house are tiny. I don't know. They're so small. They say two servings. That's not true. Maybe for children. If you're a dude and you want to eat some food, get these peak refuels. Here's my tent. This is where I'm going to make coffee, uh, Kevin's coffee in tomorrow you're morning. You're sleeping in that? No, no, this is your coffee cup. Oh, I thought you, I, said, I thought you said it was your tent. I got this this morning just so you could have coffee. Really? Yeah. We could have coffee right now. No, it's nighttime. No, I'm having some. You want some coffee? Yeah. I think I might have just turned on the mic. Yeah, I think I just turned the mic on. I don't know. Kevin thinks I'm shorting him. I'm the one that's getting shorted. That's a tent. No, this is a bivy. Bivy? It's a, it's a bivy sack. But it could be self-heated though. It's, I don't think it's self-heated. And we just got some fuel. This yep. is so much. But you said you had to get more. I did. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Hello. No, no, this is plenty. It's four seasons too. Oh yeah. That's... I've learned this a hard way. Normal fuel, sometimes when it gets below freezing, it does not work. So like, you have to get this stuff with isopropyl alcohol. If it's cold out and you guys are camping or using a jet boil or any type of stove, make sure you get the stuff with the isopropyl alcohol. Okay, that's the tour of the bag. Here's my third bag. In there, I've got the rest of Kevin's tent and very few tools that we ended up bringing. I got a Leatherman. Yeah, Kevin's got a Leatherman. He's got duct tape. I've got zip ties. Between the two of us, we could rebuild a bike. Right. And which one's going to need it worse, you think? Uh... Probably Cold, not. Cross our fingers. <laughs> Probably the boost. Knock on wood. We didn't say that. Okay, there's your scatter. Now hold your thing and I'll pull my scatter out. Okay. Kev's mic'd up. Oh, sorry. I turned my back on the camera. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're mic'd up. Never do that. So you saw my lucky Friday pillow, right? Yeah, that's actually my truck pillow in there. Yeah, but since I forgot a pillow, I get to use this pillow. Yep. With a lucky Friday logo on it. Thanks to my friends in Kellogg, Idaho that gave me that. My sleeping bag is a vintage, no joke, Moonstone. I mean, how many sleeping bags have a carry bag like that? Next, we've got the uh, Ozark Trail bag, Walmart's finest. I've seen some Patagonia product that's not as nice as this. I would All have right? to agree. All right, so, oh. oh. Look Dang. At, look at that. Whoa, are those your PJs? Those are my PJs. Look at that. Frog togs. Wow. Look at that. So those are just puffy overalls. Puffy baby Dang, puffy. Check that out. Wow. That's puff on top of puff right there. Look. That's high dollar. Is that going to keep me warm or what? That's high dollar Which, stuff right there. By the there, way, Kyle. okay, so let me see here if I can uh, pull them out. But yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, what do you got next? Oh. No way. What are you about to pull up? Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Check that out. That's the Burke lounger of slippers of all time. And those are fresh too. You just fresh. picked I those just, up. Yeah, I just got the, yeah, I just, man, I'm starting to get a junk show going on. <laughs> yeah, Good baby. Rub. Whoa. Dollar a sheet. <laughs> Mountain money. Right. And for your, since you didn't even think about breakfast. I didn't. Berry got granola? Mountain berry granola. Did you get the peak fuel too? Yeah. What? Yeah. We didn't even We, we didn't even coordinate that. We didn't even plan that. And then look. Okay. Yeah, what do you got next? For later. For later. Tonight. Peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. <laughs> Dessert? Yeah. With Dang. The, with heavy cream. <laughs> and then for Right now. Yeah, what are you gonna eat right meow? Some egg. Ooh. Ooh, that does not look appetizing. Could be good in the morning though. <laughs> and then Dang, check that out. Tillamook. Tillamook jerk meat. Zero sugar. Want some? Sure. Oh, I haven't done Oh, have you seen these before? These are so So good. you just got an assortment of snacks going on. Right. These are the best. Whoa. 
there is six grams of fiber wow. in one of those. You eat two of those, it's 12 grams of fiber in one day. That's dangerous. Watch out. Wow. That's the bag tours. I think we need a set up camp. I say we put it over here. One tent, two tent. Yep. We're going to set it up right here. Mm -hmm. and I think somebody else has already been here to clean it out. Check out that view, Kevin. It's nuts, man. Give you guys a little panoramic. Hey, you're out of the boundary, dude. I'm out of the boundary. No, I'm Get not. I'm in. in. No, you're That's out. the boundary. I'm in. You ready? No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> is that the boundary or is that the boundary? Oh, that's a that good question. I mean, what, what axis is the boundary on? Yeah. Are we in the boundary? Wait, what the boundary? if the boundary is the other side and we're out of boundary? That's a good point. We might be reading it backwards. Here's the tent setups. This is my bivy sack. And then I'm going to set up my other tent for Kevin. And we're going to be cozy tonight. This is one of the coolest camp spots I've ever camped at. <sighs> oh, yeah. Here's the bivy sack. These things are pretty easy to set up. This part of setting it up is kind of tough. You have to stretch it over. If you guys have any tips to do this easier, let me know. We're not allowed a fire. Camping is not camping without a fire where we're from. Hey, but you know what the bonus is, though? What? We don't have to worry about something coming in and eating us to death. That's true. There's no grizzly bears here. All right, Kev, this is your tent. It's no Hilleberg, but it's pretty bougie. Kev, what do you think about your tent? Way past my expectations. I hope it doesn't rain, because if it does, it's going to be really wet. Oh, well, there's a rain fly right there. Dang, it's starting to get a little dark. I'm just airing up Kevin's air mattress. I've got the same one for me. It's just quite a bit smaller. Yeah, I've been here for a while pumping on this thing. Almost there. Then we're gonna eat some food. It's tempting to just blow into these with your mouth. It'd be way faster, a lot less effort. But if you do that, you'll get all your moisture in there and you will freeze. It'll be a total disaster. Whew. All right, guys, we got it. I'm just gonna do the same thing for my tent and then it's dinner time. Yeah, that's where I wanna be. Final step of my bed right here, dialed in. Come check out the tent setup. Pretty sweet, got a sleeping bag, got my pillow in there. Then look at Kevin's just Taj Mahal, right? Mm -hmm. Pat myself on the back a little bit more. <laughs> so now that we got the beds all dialed in, let's go cook some food. We're gonna whip you up some beef stroganoff. Take that packet out, you don't want to eat that. That is not seasoning. We brought so much water. Where we filled up water was so cool. Coming out of the mountain, oh, right? That was epic. Make sure you mix that up real good with your hand. Break into that stroganoff. Give us a rating. Dang. Whoa. That's a 10. Really? Yeah. You want to No. Got the puffies on. I'm cozy. Ooh. Give us a report. That's good. Bueno? That's real good. Peak Nutrition's looking to sponsor some guys. Yeah. Since we're such, like, you know, major adventure riders. <laughs> right? <laughs> How many times have we done this now? Oh, wait a minute. You did the Idaho BDR. Mm-hmm. But... On the Golden. If any of you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. My girlfriend and I, we did over half of the Idaho BDR on the Golden tandem. I have all the footage. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to make it public <laughs> thing. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, what kind of stories? Story about the only time I've ever camped off a dirt bike. No way. Yep. As we cooked the peach cobbler, tell me the story about you camping off a dirt bike. Okay, so the year was 1997. Okay. I'm living in South Africa, racing dirt bikes. Yep. My friend Graham tells me about this trip that we're going to take into the Kalahari Desert. Six days, 20 dudes, and we only had 20 liters of water. But we brought 1,200 beers. <laughs> At the end, I was drinking the water out of cans of green beans because 
I was so dehydrated. We're sleeping on the ground with two little trucks, pickup trucks, in order to carry all our supplies. Then we ride, we ride, we ride, and these guys in the trucks come up behind us and they're like, hey, we just saw some lion. You wanna go see the lion? What? They're like, yeah, okay. We all jump in the back of this truck and these two male lions are just hanging out, laying under a bush, driving like 10 feet away from them. What, in the truck? Yeah, in the back of the truck. Like Whoa, no coverage. No. And they said, yeah, well, well, this is where we'll camp. I go, well, uh, I don't know if I want to sleep where the lions are. Yeah. And they're like, ah, no worries. Which was true because the lions were nothing compared to the hyenas. And so we build this big fire. And I remember waking up at night and shining the light out from underneath the motorcycle. And there's just hyenas just doing laps all <sighs> night long. And they're like, they're like, yeah, you don't have to worry. Because if you don't have your arm hanging out of the sleeping bag and your feet are towards the fire and your head's protected by your gear, they'll run past you and they'll run to the next guy that has an arm sticking out. Oh, no. Or a leg or something that's sticking out because they won't oh. grab you out of your bag. And I put up with this for like one night. And then what'd you do? I slept in the truck. <laughs> this is way better. Yeah. But the one thing I wanted to see when we were out there. What do you want to see? They're called Bushmen. These dudes are like like under five feet tall. They're like yellow in color and everything. Whoa. But you never see them. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was crazy. So that's my story. Dang, we're almost ready for some peach cobbler. That was a good story. We're almost ready for some peach cobbler. Our second course is ready. The dessert. Peach cobbler. <laughs> now that's good. You could serve that at the Thanksgiving table. Holy cow. Home run. Why would you cook your own food? That's phenomenal. Bit of a mess going on here. It's like a homeless encampment. Whoa. Dang. Got a lot of sleep last night. Pretty cozy. We got camp packed up. Kevin's doing some route finding. Instead of doing the whole loop, which would take us probably all of today if we even completed it. Also, we could run out of gas. So that's another reason. We never knew the actual mileage when we <laughs> took off. We're gonna do a slightly shorter route and it's supposed to be the most scenic route as well. So once we complete that, we're gonna head over to Slick Rock, give Hell's Gate another shot on the Busa. That's the trail that if you guys saw the video a few weeks ago, I looped out the bike. I've been thinking about that ever since. One of the big reasons I even drove down here is to go complete that because it was bugging me that I couldn't make it up it without crashing. So you want to do it in one shot? One That's shot. The goal. Yeah, I got to do it in uh, one okay, shot. Okay, yeah. Not 20 takes? Not 20 takes and the crowd helping me. That's That was ridiculous. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> So that's gonna be exciting. But for the meantime, mm -hmm. we're just enjoying the view, having, we're gonna eat some breakfast and then hit the road. It's definitely gonna take us a few hours to get back to the truck. There's gonna be some carnage at Slick Rock, no doubt. Good day for carnage. Yeah, good day. Right? Yeah, let's eat some breakfast. Brekkie time. Just tightening the load down before we depart. Let's check to see if that's on there. Dang! Now we're cooking with gas. Let's rip out of here, Kev. Let's do it. Go ride some Narnar. -nar. That stuff. You see the clay on the ground? Yeah. Why? That's why I was a little worried about this morning. Yeah, watch out. That's slippery. <laughs> this is epic. Epic, epic.
right guys, little ride update. Kevin and I, we made it to this epic lookout. Just came up that crazy pass. Totally bonkers. Hard to capture the coolness of that stuff on camera. We're having a great time though. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Let's get back on the road. Alrighty guys, we have a series of maybe unfortunate events that happened. We'll show you guys what's going on. Currently, so we made it to Slick Rock. We completed the route a couple hours ago, rushed to Slick Rock, and then we're going to go do Hell's Gate. Pretty much the only reason I drove all the way down here from where I live in Montana is so I could redeem myself at Hell's Gate because I wasn't able to make it up on the Busa a couple weeks ago, and that was bugging me. So drove down here. We're on our way to go head out there and Kevin was like, hey, your tire pressure is looking a little low. Let's look at it. And then I came up this ledge, felt it rim out. I'm like, whoa, something's not right. So I pulled over. Something is very not right. There's two cracks in the rim allowing all the air to escape because this is not a tube tire. It's a tubeless tire. So that means the tire seals on the rim. So we're kind of dead in the water right now. Luckily though, it happened in not like the best place, but a pretty good place because just behind us, there is a Jeep route. Maybe we can get Pearl, my truck over there tonight and somehow load this bike up. This could turn into more of an interesting video because my truck is definitely not meant to be doing this type of four wheeling. And we, that's pretty much, that's our only option. We got to get the truck, put the bike in the back of Pearl and hopefully make it out of here so I can go back to Montana with my tail tucked between my legs. And then I'll be back in a few more weeks once I get a wheel in so I can redeem myself. Right now we're on the dirt bike road. We need to get to the Jeep road and then we'll go get my truck. Hopefully it all goes to plan. So. <laughs> oh, mm. didn't work. It's already off. Uh-huh. That didn't last long. No. Oh, shoot. Dang. All right, well. Whoa. You got slime in there? Well, that did not go great under its own power. Kind of what I was expecting. The tire and the wheel have separated. That's the slime that I had in there. So Kevin and I, we're about to hop on his bike, grab Pearl. Do you think Pearl can even make it here, Kev? We're gonna find out. All right, so we'll see you at Pearl and hopefully my truck can handle this. Ah, <laughs> This is one of those things where I just don't know what's gonna happen. Better hurry, cause it's getting dark. Let's go. <laughs> Made it back to Pearl, Kevin and I tandem. Almost to Hell's Revenge. That's where that's the Jeep trail that we're gonna take it on. If you guys saw the Goldwing video, we're taking the truck on the on the route that we took the Goldwing on. I don't know. It's just a it's a 2002 Toyota Tundra with currently has 365,000 miles. So hopefully Pearl hangs hangs in this. I don't know guys. It's either this or pay someone else to do it, so I'm gonna give it a go. I don't know how this is. I don't know. Kevin's gonna meet me on the trail. He didn't want to ride in the truck. I don't blame him. So we will see him when we see him. All right, here's the trail. Oh man, I don't, Jeez. All right, well, I'll try to get some footage for you guys. It's pretty hardcore. Okay. Four low. It drops off on both sides. This is really sketchy. Gee whiz. You guys, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I need to focus. We'll see you when we see you next. 
everyone that jeeps is probably just laughing at me right now. Like I'm such a wimp. This is sketchy. Well guys, we're doing pretty good. I've only gotten hung up on one obstacle, but we're about to go up this really big hill. So I figured I'd record it. This is the craziest thing I've done in my truck ever by far. Wow. Wow. Wow, it just pulls right up it, jeez. It's scary not being able to see where you're going. Wow. Woo! Holy moly, that's steep. So yeah, we're making pretty good progress. It's pretty exciting. Jeez. Whoa. Golly. I can see the Busa. We're getting so close. It's all the way down there. Can't quite see it on the camera, but I can see it with my own eyes. Someone hasn't nabbed it. <laughs> no one, I mean, it's inoperable. If someone stole that thing, I'd be impressed. Oh, jeez. There she is, there's the bike. Now I just gotta somehow figure out how to load this thing up. Cause I can't, normally I just ride it in, but that won't work, can't ride it. Also, where's Kevin at? Hopefully he's all right. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's gonna down. Time to head out. Where are we headed, Kev? That way. I think it's gonna be a little bit harder with the weight in the back. What do you think? It's gonna be harder to keep everything in the back. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Follow Cam. Do it. Just go straight, Kev? Yeah, you just go straight. Get on my side. We just made it back to the parking lot. Pearl's in one piece. The Busa, not so much. Glad the truck is in one piece because I have to make a 12 hour drive tomorrow back home. I don't really want to be working on the truck in a parking lot tomorrow. Video did not go as planned, but we made it out. That's what matters. We're in one piece. Devil's Gate, it's itching me and I haven't been able to scratch it yet. So we'll get the bike fixed up. We'll be back down here. We'll film another video, hopefully conquering it once and for all. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you in the next video. If you like that video, click on this video, the one that YouTube recommends. You may get lucky and just like it. Click it up in the upper right, right here. Yep, that one.